Hello and welcome to today's mod spotlight. We have three mods for you today. The Ripper Sword, Nico's Craftable Arrows and Tree Home. And first up we have the Ripper Sword, a new exotic Daedric sword added to the game. The sword can only be crafted at the Skyforge in Whiterun and you can find it under the Daedric menu. The sword itself isn't too expensive, taking leather strips, a single Daedra heart and two Corundum ingots to create. And the sword is slightly more powerful than a Daedric sword with 21 damage whereas the Daedric sword has 19 damage. The Ripper Sword has a very unique look and feel about it, and the full schools it features is a nice touch, and they aren't too obtrusive when in battle. The creator of the sword, Newermind, has also made a great bunch of other mods we've already reviewed, including his bow collection, his Demon Lord armor set, and his demonic horse mount, so we'll include links down below for those of you that are interested. Next up we have Nico's Craftable Arrows, a mod that adds four new types of arrows to Skyrim. The mod adds with the vine arrows that are very dark, light splinters which are made of maple, Quickthorns that are made of rosewood, and Dreadweave, which are dark arrows with hawk feather flights and steel tips. All of the arrows are craftable at any forge under the miscellaneous category, and require a mixture of ingots and either nern root or quills, and to be able to craft them, you'll need to have the steel smithing perk. The arrows share the same stats as Daedric arrows, so they're more suited for higher level archers. The arrows are very well designed, and as I play an archer myself, having more choice in the arrows I choose is always welcome. This will be a mod I definitely recommend. And finally we have Home Tree, a new player home that's built around a giant tree. You can find the home near the Whiterun Watchtower where you fought your first dragon. The creator chose this location due to the large amount of animals nearby, allowing players to hunt without having to travel too far from home. The home features many levels, all supported by a large amount of scaffolding that surrounds the entire tree. The tree has all of the essential equipment you need, including a crafting table, enchanting table, tanning rack, smelter and blacksmith forge. The house also has three chests where you can store all of your items. The tree is very well made, and without any inside areas, the whole place has a very open feeling to it, which is nice. It's a great example of a player home that isn't too complicated and has everything a player needs. Thanks for watching today's Spotlight. On screen now, you can click on any of the annotations to take you to another video.